Hello, my dear friends. I know that you all are anxiously waiting for the answer keys for all the nine questions of data interpretation of ZAT 2026. So here we have uh, uh, the correct answers for all those nine questions which were divided across three different sets. Okay, in me se pehle jo teen questions hain, unke answer already Rahul sir bata chuke hain. But ek baar uh, main dobara se bata deta hu. And then we'll look at uh, those two questions which looked very difficult. So first set, first three questions of uh, this section. Question number one ka answer hai option C, which is rupees twenty five hundred. Then if we'll move ahead and look at the second question. Second question, what is the maximum possible value of the total loan Bridge Bhushan has given to these five farmers? Iska answer hai 2,37,500. That is option E. Okay. Uh, aapke uh, different, different uh, exams may different sequence of questions ho sakte hai. To wo ek bar jo maine answers yaha pe mark ki hai, unki values bhi check kar lijega. Thik hai? Now question number three pe chalte hai of the same set. Uh, if the width of Aditya's plot is 25 meters, minimum possible length of Binod's plot find out karna tha. Iska answer hoga 320 meters. That is option D. Right? Now this was the first set, the first three questions. Now moving ahead after a uh, total of 22 questions, uh, 23, 24, 25. This was the second set and 26, 27, 28 was the third set. Now, these two sets were challenging. In me se jo sunburst chart tha, wo thoda kam challenging tha, but usse pehle jo uh, table wala question tha, that was a very challenging set and it is in front of you. So, Ratan, Shri, Tamil and Upanshu, right? So, we have reached to question number 23. What best can be said about the value of X? X ki value kya ho sakti hai? So, we are getting unique value of X, that is 10. So option B is the correct answer of question number 23. Now moving on to the next question, question number 24. Iska correct answer hai option B. Once again, the value of Y is equal to 58. Now the third question of this set, question number 25. It is asking about what best can be said about the profit generated by Upanshu at the end of his prohibition period. So, option E is the correct answer here. At least rupees 1,7,000. Option E. Okay. So, that was the second set. Now, third set ki taraf chalte hai, which was a sunburst chart. So, sunburst chart, kafi data given hai yaha pe. Okay. But uh, questions itne zada difficult nahi the. We will be explaining uh, the solutions of these questions to you also. But abhi jo important cheez hai, wo hai answer keys. So 26th question, 26th question ka answer hai option E that is 20, 25, 10. Okay, so option E is the correct answer of question number 26. Now next question number 27. So question number 27 kya tha based on the given information, which of the following has the highest number of employees? So among the five options, option C, IT department, all offices together is the correct answer. Now the last question of uh, this section and uh, this set, question number 28. So which of the following statements cannot be true? Correct. Okay. So cannot be true. Hame dekhna hai ki si statement true nahi hai. So the correct answer here is option E. Number of female junior employees at finance and IT departments in Bengaluru office are equal. Ye equal nahi ho sakte the because in dono ka sum ek odd number tha. Right? So option E is the correct answer for this question. Alright? So friends, these are all the nine questions of data interpretation that were there in uh, quantitative aptitude section of ZAT 2026. I hope you have got maximum number of questions correctly. So all the very best for the results of that 2026.